Uh, people generally get shocked when I share screenshots or uh, images of people who, uh, you know, say stuff about my wife or my baby or me. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, people even do not believe when I tell them that a guy actually called me to give bad words. Uh, not just to me, to my wife and baby. And some of them even uh, try stuff like, how much for your wife one night? Uh, how much for your baby? Uh, you know, stuff like that. So the question that was asked to me, uh, I get asked this frequently is, how do you handle all this? How do you handle criticism? So I thought I'd answer. See, um, first I'll give you the background, okay? Uh, there are plenty of people, plenty of people who abuse me, call me names, give me bad words, and uh, it's not the first time. People have, you know, tried calling me, my religion, my wife, my baby, my father, my mother. Beyond that, you'll get some people who maybe are not from India, they will talk about Indians, the race, creed, so whatever is in my circle, my world. And generally, the uh, insults, bad words can be, either it'll be like stuff like, if I had your face, you know, this is what I would do to myself, I'd kill myself, and uh, if I was your mother, I'd kill you when the day you're born, and uh, how do you even live with yourself? Oh, you piece of shit, you're earning so less. Uh, then what else? Uh, uh, how does your wife actually have sex with you in the night? Well, the light is off. <laughs> so <laughs> then, uh, so those are like uh, more like statements. Okay, they, uh, oh, a guy who's earning uh, less and he's talking so much or you're a loser, you lost everything and you ran away from Dubai, got deported, and now he's talking. Well, uh, you know, some other people are like, who the fuck is this guy? Okay. Then the other ones are like profanities. Uh, and uh, like, for example, Indian profanities are mainly centered around private parts, okay? Your mother's vagina, your father's dick, uh, your mother's vagina has this, I'll put this in your mother's mouth, uh, sorry, vagina, in this in your mother's ass, or, uh, so they try to insult me that way, you know. I'll do this to your mother, I'll do that to your mother, or then they try the wife, your wife's genitalia, your wife's asshole, your wife's vagina, uh, and some people think, okay, that's not working, let me try the small baby, your baby's private parts, I will do this to your baby, I'll do that to your baby, Oh, people go on. Okay. And then some people who do not know that I'm an atheist. Oh, your Jesus, I'll fuck him. I'll do this to Mother Mary and I'll do this to your religion. i put the cross up your ass and cross up someone else's ass and this and that. Okay. So, okay. Those are the bad words. Okay. Uh, and what else? I think I covered everything. Yes. And sometimes I get calls where how much for your wife one night? My dog, I want to get my dog someone to fuck. How much for your baby? Uh, I'll make your baby, I'll pimp your baby for cash, give you good money. Why don't you sell your baby online? Or, so, whatever, okay. They try to get imaginative with this. Now, why doesn't it affect me is a big question. Like, these are serious words, okay? These are hurtful words for some people. We don't normally use them. Okay, the why or why is it I don't respond or how is it I don't respond or doesn't it bother me? Now, I'll give you how my brain works. Now, for for instance, whatever is your name, okay, think your name is, whatever is your name, okay, let's assume your name is uh, Richard. Your name is Richard. And example, instead of Richard, I say, I you know, I call you Richard. Richard, come here. You will turn around and say who's who's calling and then you will come. 
or if your name is Mark and I say, Mark, can you pass me the salt? You'll turn around because someone called your name. But now if your name is Richard and I say, Sheila, come here. You'll be like, who's Sheila? Or if I tell Mark, you know, Thompson, can you move that side? There'll be no response. Now, for example, your name, I do not know what is your name. But if I say Ubuntu, how are you Ubuntu? You'll be like, what's an Ubuntu? Or if whatever is your name and I say Marco Browno, you'll be like, who's Marco Browno? So, and if you're walking in a busy street and someone calls your name, yes, you'll turn around. But if someone else calls, let's say Coco Chanel, I'm going to turn around. So the first things first, if it is not your name, if it is not you, if it's not your identity, why are you bothered? Why are you turning your head? Why are you responding? Simple thing, when I said, if your name is Richard and I call you Richard, you'll turn. But if I say Sheila, you'll not turn because Sheila is not your name. So if someone says asshole or motherfucker or dog, why are you responding? Are you an asshole, a motherfucker or a dog? No, it's not your name. It's not who you are. So, number one, don't respond. Okay. In my, then obviously you'll say, Loy, but you respond in the channel. Well, I do it for uh, entertainment. I do it for fun. Because sometimes it's so boring, you know. I need to come up with ideas. And they are giving me content to share and entertain my audience. Why not? Okay. But otherwise, in real life, let's say someone sends me a private email. I don't respond to it. They, you know, there are people who have written down pages and pages. I don't bother. Unless, of course, I know, okay, it'll generate some views or some interaction or entertainment. Then uh, the second part comes that, uh, okay, don't you feel anything? Okay, let's uh, analyze this one. Let's say someone says, Law, you look ugly. Well, the fact is I don't look handsome. I absolutely don't think I look uh, uh, smart, stunning, whatever. I look unique. Unique is the right word. So if someone thinks I look ugly, fine. There are people I think look ugly. There are fashion statements I think are stupid. There is music I don't like. So that doesn't mean that the music is bad. People, some people will like my appearance. Some people will hate my appearance. Some people have told me you look much cool now. Some people have said you look much more stupid now. So it doesn't matter. Man. Everyone has a right to a view. Then it comes to, okay, what about your baby? Some people say my wife looks ugly. Some people say, oh, how much did you get this Thai whore for? Okay, let's an analyze that one. Now, I've uh, spoken to my wife, I've told her, people call you ugly. She was laughing. She was like, okay, I'm uh, ugly. So, what can I do about it? I mean, <laughs> let's assume my wife is ugly. Fine, what can we do about it? It's a fact. Okay, let's say someone says, your, your baby looks like a dog. Okay, big dog, uh, bitch. We got small dog. I mean, what do you want us to do? If you say my baby looks ugly, I should, oh, my baby looks ugly. You said you don't like my baby. Ah. Man, I don't know who you are. I don't give a fuck about it. See, and here's another thing, okay? This is the best logic I can give you. Now, why is it whenever people insult my wife, me, or my baby, why is it they hide? Okay, ask yourself, why is it they hide behind an anonymous profile, behind a fake email address. Why do they hide? Because number one is they know what they're doing is wrong. Okay, that's the fact. No one in a civil society showing his face is going to abuse a baby or a woman or another human being unless there is a really powerful reason and no means for the individual, not the baby or the uh, child. It's inexcusable to insult a baby and a family, okay? Okay, let's say a person. Well, you should have very compelling reason, like the person must have done really something bad, okay? And that's where, okay, you show your face. But then there is also the backlash. So people know what they're doing is wrong, number one. Number two is they know that there will be a backlash. So what is the best form to do to attack someone? Is to do it 
like being a coward that's because you're hiding you're hiding and attacking you're hiding and insulting you're hiding and talking that speaks volumes about your courage what courage do you have nothing it shows see it's it's a classic case of your upbringing your parents did a very bad job in teaching you values they didn't teach you that you need to be a man you need to stand up for your views you need to talk like one your parents taught you yeah, if you want to attack someone do it hiding insult them and then act like a decent guy in front of everyone so that is what your upbringing is others okay fine if you think i'm wrong tell me what is the right your parents gave you proper upbringing but you chose to be a coward and if it's not being a coward what is it okay see behind a hidden identity you can insult a person's mother father brother sister you can send lewd messages you can so why why don't you do it showing your real identity okay and then the other thing is you i've always noticed these guys who a girl to insult they will never insult their own parents their own mother their own father their own children why because they love them but they'll do it to other people it's like you know these pedophiles and these rapists they'll do it to other people's children and other people's sisters but they'll never do it to their own why why so you know it's when you when you look and understand the psych the psychology behind these people you actually feel sorry for them because they are in a very lonely world they are in a very sad reality where they derive the sense of gratification and happiness knowing i was able to insult someone and feel good about it I was able to make fun of someone and i'm feeling powerful I was able to you know destroy someone's life and feel empowered here the proof of it is look at any successful person the good ones okay the not the criminals or the bad ones they are busy doing their work like check your ceo i'm pretty sure your ceo is busy focused on his work have a look at your peers who are successful like for example me i'm i'm not saying i'm super successful but i seriously don't have the time to look at anyone's profile anyone's work like for example if i see a video i like i watch the video if there's a guy talking garbage i just switch it off i don't bother if there's someone who i think talks nonsense i don't subscribe like for example in my group in my group i have people with diverse opinions there are people who support bjp there are people who support caa there are people who consider indian smelly stinky and you know i i don't mind it there are even people who consider atheism as evil and there are some people who think uh, my life choices are bad that's okay i mean you have a right uh, this thing the most important question that i ask people most important okay is does praising you or insulting you does it uh improve the quality of your life most important does it increase your bank balance you know last i checked when you praise me lawyer you're amazing lawyer you're a great guy lawyer you're fantastic lawyer i'm a big fan of yours i check my bank balance it's the same then people say lawyer oh fuck you know if you're a truth you're a cunt your mother is this your father is that your wife is this i check my bank balance again zero i mean, so or what do you want me to do is it like every time you praise me wow you praised me wow and then when you insult me oh you insulted me so man i would end up being mad like every second switch on switch off switch on switch off it it doesn't it doesn't uh, bother me and as you grow older you realize that uh, people want you to react people want you to give them a response and i have only so much energy man i have energy i need to focus on my task do work make money or sit and be bothered about all this it doesn't help me one bit and here's something bigger for you to think about i've had people who actually 
wanted to kill me actual hmm? actual wanted to kill me actual wanted to harm me they were even ready to pay someone to kill me uh, do you think that is more serious or just calling me names <sighs> i have been through the part where i've almost tried to kill myself really is that more serious or calling names and i'll here's a better question if in case you were to lose your job let's say you lost your job your parents are sick there's no money for your child your wife are you going to be sit are you going to be bothered what people talk about you gossip about you or would you be more focused on i need to earn money take care of my family uh, provide for my child what do you think you'd be bothered about what people think or focused on your priorities so this should give you a clear understanding whether you should react or shouldn't react as i have become older i have realized people will like me people will hate me people will admire me people will insult me some will compliment me some will abuse me life goes on man and uh, they will do this until you exist the day you die they will feel empty and they will try to search whom else can i attack like for example michael jackson when michael jackson died until michael jackson was alive every critic of his was making a living attacking him writing articles about him posting videos trying to find a gossip trying to literally destroy his life the day michael jackson died finished they all went away they all went away and i'm pretty sure the critics were like shit oh he died okay now who do i focus on next uh, which guy which guy which guy so they're busy focusing on other people well i'll tell you these guys who focus on others never focus on themselves never because you can either in your brain you can either think about someone else or think about yourself i spend time thinking about me myself my family my bank balance my future and that is why I, i i don't have time to think of what anyone else is doing if someone is more successful than me then i hats off to you man if someone there is a person who i do not like i mean why am i even spending time talking about you and i think my my mentor said it best we tend to focus on people who are better than us we tend to focus on people who are larger than us like for example would you be bothered about a cleaner even if he had different opinions he would not be you'd be like it's a waste of my time yeah so the critics and the haters who follow me they follow me i never follow them they try to dig out my life and i'm happy that they're doing that because this enhances the value of my brand i never focus on them in fact it's so sad that they live in a hidden email behind a hidden facade and they're busy trying to attack because nobody will know their work nobody will know who they are that is why you have these guys they have these fake accounts and they behave misbehave with girls or attack people because they are afraid they are scared they are cowards and it's a clear reflection that their mother and father did a very sad job of teaching them values you can say the same about me the choices that i made in life were because i never had proper upbringing had i proper upbringing a father to talk to a mother who could sit and communicate with me i'm sure i made a lot of different choices lots that is why with my baby i make sure that my wife is there 24/7 not to pamper but to communicate and give her a proper guidance and whenever needs be i step in and do my thing you know so anyway guys what i would tell you is if you are facing a bully let's say you're facing a bully find a solution to it or you know uh take some guidance about it if you're facing insults same thing if you're facing criticism i've told you what i do so let me know your thoughts in the comments below 
you think what I've suggested is it uh, making sense? Uh, do you have a better idea, better suggestion? So, and remember this, I receive plenty, plenty of mails, messages, comments, notifications per day. I only highlight the ones which I feel is either going to be some kind of entertainment or just inform or get some views. The rest I don't bother. And uh, this morning itself I received uh, two really long emails. Uh, he spent the money, I, I just call through your wife this, your mother this, your father, your baby this, you this. Okay, whatever. Happy you were able to vent it all out. I don't even bother to reply to them. So I hope they feel good about it. Anyway, these are my thoughts. Let me know yours. I read your comments always. Put your comments down below. This is me signing off. Take care.